What is going guys? It's a bar dancing. Welcome back to another YouTube video now, guys. Do you see what this is? I have heard you all, I have heard all the comments, all the DMs, all the feedback. And this is a particular casting that a lot of you really want, wanted me to review. Um, you guys know I don't really collect this, but I've heard you guys. I finally have this in my collection. I got this last year during the SG Toycon. And today we are gonna take a look at this 164 skill Mercedes Benz printer SCDF emergency ambulance. So yeah, I, I gotta really say I don't really collect uh, models like these. You guys know I'm more of an exotic guy, exotic car guy, but I don't know, you guys really wanted me to review and check this particular ambulance out. And I thought, you know, I thought, you know what? Let's just do right away. No, it is unsealed because I did take the seal out just so I could take a look at the ambulance first before I you know so, yeah, so I can you know, plan a bit of information for you guys. Now, let's look at the box first. So obviously, we've got Masterpiece Collectibles logo right here, which is obviously the the company in Singapore that does all these um skill replicas of all the um, of the emergency vehicles around in Singapore. And there is a serial number fourteen right here. We've got a masterpiece collectibles um logo right there again. Um, wait, I already went through that, and then over here we've got the same thing written as in the front, which is the name, right? The one sixty four scale Mercedes Benz printer. And I do apologize; it's a bit crammed up here, and so that's why it's in an angle. Um, anyways, and then the rear of the box. Now here are the one, two, three, four, five different ambulances they have, and now what I mean by different is basically they are from different fire stations. Now we have the one from 331 and, it, and if memory serves this is the one from St. Kang Fire Station so what we're gonna do we're gonna dive right straight oh check oh hello check that out and I'll, I'll tell you a bit about this about the backstory of this ambulance as well um that's very interesting so you guys can see there's this plastic bit right here there isn't anything else in the box the box is empty and then it's secured with tape so that's a very nice thing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to remove the tape right here and let's see if that works out Ugh. let's see let's see ah there you go all right that's that should be enough so all right there you go so it is nice that you actually did this to kind of like press the plastic onto the onto the car i think to kind of protect the car i think that's brilliantly done by masterpiece collectible so massive props to them now before we dive into the car now first things first you guys can see the 331 like i said yes as far as memory serves 31 is Seng Kang Fire Station's um, code number. Now, before we get into this car, I just want to give you guys a little bit of a fun fact. So this is a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, right? Now, back when I started RDN Racing as a YouTube channel, the very first video on my channel to cross the 1000 view mark, which was a massive achievement for me, was a video I did on a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. So for that particular reason, this has always been a very special casting to me per se. However, with that being said, this is an ambulance. Um, I don't really collect ambulances, but um, last year when I went to the uh, to SG Toycon with Drifter D, you guys know my bud Bjorn Alvarez. I actually met up with a lot of you there, and when I asked what should I, when what I should buy, I wanted to get your opinions. You guys said this, and it's I know it's taken me a while, guys. I do apologize, but we finally have this in our hands, and we're gonna do a, a, a kind of review, and also you know I'll give you a bit of information about this particular car. Now. Let's start from the sides then, shall we? So we have the SCDF logo right there, the emergency medical response right here. Um, obviously the whole the decal right there. The wheels, they they spin decently well. I mean, we get. Oh, <laughs> I just noticed the tire. Let me just fix that. There you go. Yeah, that looks really nice. It spins decently well. Obviously, in a real vehicle, we have the SCDF logo right there, the SCDF decal, the license plate right there. The ambulance keep clean. Now, before we continue, I just want to give you guys a little backstory. So this is. SCDF's, I would say, seventh generation ambulance. So this was revealed in mid April 2021. So it has been a while, and I have seen, and I bet you guys have seen this out on the road as well. This particular ambulance or this generation of ambulance actually has a lot of special features, starting with solar panels. So they have solar panels on the top right here, and then to be better prepared for future pandemics, there is also an automatic decontamination mist spray system built into this particular vehicle it can actually spray non-toxic and non-corrosive disinfectant 
to decontaminate the ambulance within 20 minutes and all you need to do is to press a button and that's really very interesting and obviously like i mentioned it has a solar panel so it does utilize solar power and, and an intelligent charging system to increase operational readiness and flexibility during an, during any deployment and i gotta say it's really very interesting it's very cool um, I was from SCDF as well when I served my national service here in Singapore. However, I was not associated with vehicles because I was more on the marine side. And so I've not had much experience with ambulances per se. But I gotta say this is a very interesting casting. It is something that will definitely go very, very interesting. And you guys can see the ERA car logo right there as well. Mercedes Benz printer made in China. Oh, this is a very nice casting. I gotta say she and a little roll test. She does roll. Very nice. Check that out. And I, I don't know if you guys have ever ridden an ambulance, but um, the, ins the inside of an ambulance is very, it's actually kind of soundproof. It's very quiet and you can't really feel the bumps when you're traveling inside an ambulance. So that's a very, very interesting thing. And this particular ambulance is actually a collaboration between SCDF and Home Team Science and Technology Agency, which I bet, I mean, it's something really interesting. And it's very fascinating to see how ambulances have kind of evolved from the first gen ambulance, which used to be, a Volkswagen bus. I'll put a photo for your reference somewhere here. Um, but it's very nice to see the 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 change, the evolution throughout the last couple of years. Um, you know, throughout the different generations of this being the seventh generation, like I mentioned at the start of this video. So it's very, very interesting. I gotta say, um I don't regret buying this particular casting. I think it's a very, very nice casting. However, it's not something that I always buy. With that being said, I know there are a lot of you out there who love models like this so if you guys do you guys can check out masterpiece collectibles and get one of this for yourself obviously this isn't a paid product placement i'm not uh, i'm not associated or affiliated with them but i just you know i bought this because you guys recommended and you guys asked me to get this particular mercedes um ambulance and i thought you know what let's give it a shot so i think she's gonna go decently well in the collection um obviously with the nature of this particular casting it doesn't really go well with my collection um, but don't worry, I will figure something out. I'll figure out a way to kind of display her as well. But with that being said, what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to go do a few rolling shots. And I'll see you at the end. <laughs> And just like I guess we've come to the end of the video, I hope you guys had an amazing time. I should have an amazing time unboxing this amazing Mercedes Benz Sprinter. I think she's gonna go amazingly well in the collection. However, like I mentioned, it is a mess and it kind of really doesn't fit everywhere. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place it right here in the Dream Customs mat, right there. It kind of looks nice, it kind of looks decent with the backdrop. So obviously the lights aren't on. Um, but I think it looks okay until I find a much, much better spot. Now, I I do realize that it's a bit messy, guys. And I do apologize. It's it has been a hectic couple of weeks with university and everything. So don't worry at all. We are gonna tidy up everything. And I promise I will do an update video in, in the near future as well, especially on TikTok. So do do stay tuned to my TikTok video. I'll put the socials in the description down below. But just like guys, this video is over. Also, before we end, let me know what you thought about this particular casting. Let me know what you thought about this video. But just like guys, this video is over. I'll see you in the next one, and I'm out. Peace.